Uh, I'm so glad to be here today. Uh, I took y'all on a tour of the kitchen and now I'm fixing to make the first recipe since we've moved back into our forever home. And I hope y'all have enjoyed the tour. I'm gonna do lots more tours. Uh, but just the kitchen, just the kitchen and dining room area right now. So I, I do hope that y'all enjoyed it. Well, I want to read to y'all an email that I got from uh, a lady named Julie Bersano. And she, I just got the cutest note from her. She said, Dear Paula, I sent this recipe to you many months back when you first started your quarantine cooking channel. Well, it's a recipe for sugar cream pie. She said, oh, but don't let that name fool you because there's only three tablespoons of sugar in the whole pie, yet it still tastes wonderfully creamy and sweet. And I'm so excited for the day I might see you make it. The original recipe had far more sugar, so I changed it up for my husband since he's diabetic. And I think you should make this as soon as possible for your Michael. Because truly, Paula, do you really want to see him cry anymore? Smiles. <laughs> so y'all have seen Michael come into the kitchen and say, I'm on that diet. I want some. He's a big crybaby like that, y'all. So, <laughs> Julie, I really, I really got my tickle box turned over on that one. Oh, uh, my husband loves this pie. As your hut, my husband loves this pie so much that I make one about every week. Uh, you just add cinnamon on the top, and if you don't like cinnamon or nutmeg, just leave it off. Just make it your own. Uh, well, you know, I always tell everybody, Julie, go right by the recipe the first time you make it and the next time make it your own. But I am going to do one little thing different that I'm going to share with y'all. Uh, Julie goes on to say this recipe dates back to the 1800s, but I just discovered it five years ago. It is so worth it to prepare as it is fast and easy. And when you're just hungry for something sweet, but yet on the lighter side, you must try it. So there's no bacon to it. Uh, the only bacon that you have to do is for your pie crust. And that is pre-baked. And so, Julie, I, <laughs> I added four tablespoons. I, I'm putting in four tablespoons of sugar. Uh, you recommended three and you said that the original recipe was a lot more, so I just added one more tablespoon. So I'm using four tablespoons where you normally use three. And uh, this is my cornstarch. And the cornstarch is gonna be our thickening agent. So, we're just gonna mix those up together. Our whisk is acting kind of like a sifter. And then we're gonna add our cream. And we are using heavy cream, two and a fourth cups of heavy cream. I do love a cream pie, Julie. Let's see, and the butter. So I'm gonna mix this up and then the stove has been used so much. It was original stove, a stove top that we put in here 17 years ago. And we have about scrubbed the, uh, the writing off to tell me which is which. So I think this is gonna be the right one for the one closest, yeah. That's right, okay. So slowly adding my heavy cream to my sugar and cornstarch. I 
I just love it when y'all send in recipes to me. Uh, especially recipes I've never heard of before. So Julie, I hope you're watching. I hope you're watching. Now, how long will it take this recipe, Teresa? To thicken? No, to hit the airwaves. <laughs> oh, not long. It'll probably be up here within next week or so. Oh, good. So, so just know that the day I shoot it's usually about a two video, or no after. yeah, it has to be edited and all of that. So, Julie says, uh, cook over medium heat, whisking constantly to prevent scorching, and cook it until the um, mixture thickens and begins to boil, and then cook for one more minute. Then remove from heat and add the vanilla, and pour the filling into your pea, pre, <laughs> your pea baked crust. <laughs> Your pre-baked pie crust. Okay, so this is gonna take just a couple of minutes. And then we will have her done. The worst part about this pie, Julie, is having to wait four hours to taste it. Four hours or overnight. <laughs> what Teresa? I didn't wait four hours. <laughs> Teresa made this pie this morning at her house, and uh, she said it was delicious, Julie. So this is twice Julie sent in the recipe to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Julie, I tell you what, I have really, uh, and I thank you for saying that because that reminds me to tell y'all between packing and moving I have gotten real behind Hatton and Teresa so I've got to get on the stick <laughs> uh, my mail my mail has um, suffered because Eddie's going in a thousand directions and I'm kind of sitting there waiting for him to tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we're going to get caught up. Oh, and I signed back up to do cameos again. I don't know if y'all know what cameos is. It's, it's a, a website where you can get Celebrities. You say shout out, you know, just shout outs, happy birthdays. And yeah, yeah, just just to uh, have a favorite celebrity text it, a shout out, do a video mm -hmm. as a shout out for grandma's birthday or uh, retirement or what, whatever, whatever you want to send a shout out to, whomever you want to send a shout out to. Um, so I have started back doing that, but I was I was getting behind on that too. So I took a little break when we started moving and putting everything in boxes and trying to figure out where the heck I was. <laughs> so it's ready, and that probably took uh, maybe five or six minutes when it starts bubbling. Julie said just to cook it for one more minute. So, I mean, this is simple, simple, simple. All right, now I'm gonna add my vanilla to it. And it probably said... Two teaspoons. Oh, two teaspoons, okay. It's heavy vanilla. I love vanilla. Me too. I've got a heavy hand, because I don't normally uh, measure vanilla. So I always make sure that uh, I put a little extra. Okay, looks delicious. It looks like a vanilla pudding that we've made. So now I'm just gonna pour this into our pie shell. 
Oh, it's gonna be a fat pie, Teresa. Will it take any more, you think? Sure. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Here it goes. I love it. You know, lots of times when you make a pie, Eddie, there's not enough filling to, to it look so skimpy in the shell. So this is great to see. Like, that's just perfect. Now, is this a regular pie press or a deep? That's a deep dish. It mm -hmm. is a deep dish. I always buy deep dish. Uh, Which means I always buy deep dish. <laughs> oh my goodness. Doesn't it taste amazing? It is delicious. So, Julie, let me tell you what I think after licking my finger. It reminds me of a creme brulee, you know, that's not flavored yet. And Julie tells us to let me make sure. Then remove from the heat and add vanilla, pour the filling into the, set your oven to brawl with the door popped open, propped open. Drizzle the two tablespoons of melted butter on top of the pie. And she said, tilt it. So it'll go all over it. So I'm gonna, Teresa said that she used a brush to brush it on the one she made. So I'm prepared to do whatever. All right, now I think I'm gonna try Julie's way and see that works. That really moves the pie around a good bit. So now I'm doing Teresa's way. <laughs> and Teresa, I think your way is going to work good for me. Julie's way got it started. And Teresa's way is finishing it up. Don't follow my way anymore after this. Because <laughs> mine went sideways. It did. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So, this is where I'm going to be doing something a little different, uh, Julie, because it does remind me of creme brulee. And, you know, to, to um, candy the top of a creme brulee, you have to put it in a broiler or use your little instant fire, you know, to burn it with. So I'm gonna add brown sugar on top of that butter. And I think we're gonna have a creme brulee, girl. A creme brulee pie. And I usually use, seems like it's been a long time since I made creme brulee, but seems like I usually use brown sugar instead of white sugar. All right, Julie doesn't tell us how much cinnamon, so I'm just gonna put what I think is the right amount. And now nutmeg, and she doesn't tell us either how much nutmeg to use, but nutmeg is a real strong uh, spice, so I'm not gonna put as much nutmeg as I did cinnamon. All right, I've got to find, excuse my back. I'm gonna set my oven to brawl. Both wrong, let them get hot a second. 
I wish I had, uh, you know, a pizza paddle, Eddie, that I could put this pie on and just hold it with a pizza paddle. <laughs> Because it only takes a second. I know. And I want to be prepared. I learned the hard way. <laughs> I want to be prepared uh, to move it quickly. All right, so what do you think so far? Julie, you don't think I've messed it up, do you? It looks yum. It does look so yum. I wish I knew where my, my uh, lighter was. But you know, I hadn't seen it in a while, in a good while. I bet it's lost in that garage and where it uh, is. Yeah, probably. So, you know, whenever you broil, you don't need to close your oven. You should always leave it cracked like that so you can keep an eye on it because that broil it's a serious, it's a serious kind of heat. And the ovens get so hot. Look what I did the other day. Yeah. Coming out of the oven. Oh, I was, I had a black skillet, uh, cast iron in there. It hurt so bad. But I, I've just got to go to the store and get me another. Kitchen torch. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Julie, I hope you don't think I've ruined your pie recipe and I did something that I tell everybody not to do. To go right by the recipe the first time you make it. But it just looks so much like creme brulee. And that little taste I had tasted just like it. So I can't hardly wait for the four hours. I told you I couldn't wait four hours. God, so Julie, four hours. I cheated and put mine in the, in the freezer. <laughs> Did you hear that, Julie? Teresa says she cheated and put hers in the freezer. <laughs> and it worked out perfectly. <laughs> so we'll have to get back to you on the tasting, but I can tell you I'm not gonna be disappointed. Okay, can y'all believe it? It has been four hours on this pie. Uh, I'd like to say it flew by, but it really didn't. I've been waiting a long time to taste this. Uh, what, what's the name of it? Julie's Sugar Cream. Sugar Cream Pie. <laughs> and she told me to finish it off with nutmeg and cinnamon on top with melted butter and broil it under the broiler just for a minute for it to all melt. And it sounded so creme brulee to me. I said, well, I think, and, and Teresa had already made the pie. And she said it did taste like a creme brulee. So I said, I'm gonna put some brown sugar on it. And hopefully the brown sugar will candy on top of it. So it'll be like a creme brulee pie. And you know what my favorite thing in the world is? when you just take a pie out of the oven or the freezer and a friend drops in, just in time to try the pie. Carolyn Haltman, y'all, y'all have known her. She has decorated everything I've ever had in the world. <laughs> <laughs> We're still together. Yes, and after how many years? Oh, oh 17. Mercy. Yeah, mm -hmm. feels like more than that. <laughs> We've done so many different things we together. Have. Carolyn's been in Wyoming for three weeks, and uh, we've missed her. All right, so baby, fork it. It looks fabulous. Doesn't this look oh, like it a looks creme brulee? exactly like a creme brulee, which I yes. love. Oh, yes. my goodness. Okay. So tell me there what we go. you think. Oh, is it good? It's really you're, good. You hear the crackle of mm -hmm. the... You did a good job on top. Mm. Isn't that wonderful? It's not me. It's my friend out there, Julie. Okay. Julie. Mm. This oh, is wonderful. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, my goodness. You want to take cheddar piece? Mm. Maybe. Mm -mm. I love dropping in when I'm hungry. <laughs> Actually, I'll mm. come more often. Oh, this, oh this is so good, Paula. So easy, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes, it's just sugar, 
cornstarch, stir that together, heavy mm. cream, and um, flour, and that's it. Wow, it's wonderful. I'm so glad you were here to taste it. I am too. <laughs> my goodness, how lucky I am. Come on now, finish eating. Oh my goodness. Okay. Because I might get more than you by accident. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Julie, it's thank wonderful. you so, so, so much. Mm -hmm. I love it. And I love you for watching and sending it to me. And hopefully we can keep Mikey from crying. <laughs> <laughs> Loving best dishes, girl. <laughs> oh, it's really good. Did you try? y'all it's Paula Dean. Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes y'all.